If you're looking to buy some Ultimate Team Coins, go check out the FIFA shop.co.uk. All the links are down below in that description box. And use discount code of GC5 to get your 10% discount on all of your ores, guys. They're cheap, reliable, and you get your coins within 60 seconds. What's up guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got episode number 2 of Martin Odegaard's Road to Real Madrid. We'll start from the bang with a game against Tenerife and uh, honestly, the support on the first episode was absolutely mind-blowing guys. We smashed 4,300 likes and uh, the support, like I said, was absolutely crazy. So if we could do it again, that would be absolutely awesome. Repeat anything like that, I'll do another episode tomorrow night and get episode 3 done. In the comments below, don't know any changes you'd like to, uh, me to do for this series, whether that be uh, like additional tasks or anything like that. And uh, finally, if you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button for daily FIFA content. Look at that. Um, that's a definition of FIFA AIDS. <laughs> the goalkeepers on career mode for me right now, um, they seem all over the place. And if there's any way to fix that, let me know in the comments below because it's kind of doing my head in because it's not just my goalkeeper, um, it's also the opponent. So I don't even really know what's up with them. They're not that bad normal team. And uh, I'm going to show you each match rating as well after every game um, and show you how I've performed because not, not all games would be me getting like good ratings because at the moment, we are a low rating. We're just 68 rated and we're worth £700,000. Uh, we actually dropped for this game and uh, we draw uh, draw. To a piece, and I don't know. I think getting dropped will be quite a common theme if I play badly the match before. It's pretty damn obvious, to be honest. Um, I've actually picked out a few comments though from the last episode, and uh, I'm going to try and give as much feedback as possible regarding them. My actual questions. The first one saying I had a lot of people saying um start at Real Madrid Castilla and work my way up, but unfortunately, Real Madrid Castilla are not on uh, FIFA Ultimate or not FIFA in general actually because they got relegated to the third tier of Spanish football, I do believe. So that was kind of impossible to do anyway. I mean, if I had uh, the what's it called uh where you create your own teams and stuff, it's not actually on Next Gen uh, Creation Center. That's the one. Um, it's only on. The 360 and PlayStation, which kind of sucks, but nevertheless, um, I can't really do much else about that. And it would have been quite cool to start there, as that's where you're starting in real life. Uh, but again, it's not possible, but that is a quite nice assist to get. Um, very early on in our career, at, um, uh, who are we at? Is it Zaragoza? Um, nevertheless, we are doing quite. I say we're doing all right. I mean, we're not contributing too much, um, but we actually managed to get a little bit of a break there. But the ball was kind of intended to me. He nicked it off me. But look at that goalkeeper. That makes it two 0 and we're kind of cruising. But I don't really get that. I mean, our strikers right now are so damn slow. And at first, I was like, oh, that's quite cool. I can uh, I can play off these, make some runs off them. But honestly, no. Um, it's, it's it's proven to be a bit of a hassle because they're not making runs and their pass is god awful so uh, that, this leads me on to the next point actually the, the, the pre-Madrid stage, the pre uh, the before I actually get into Madrid starting 11, um, I'm going to try and get through this bit as quickly as possible. I'm talking I'm maybe up to 10 games per episode uh, because there's not many clips in these because, honestly, uh, there, there isn't much happening. Uh, offline, it's one of the ones where ultimate teams end-to-end, -end, but offline, the, the computer like to play it around a lot. And if, my, if I'm only controlling one player, I can't really dictate the play too much. So, uh, obviously, when I'm high-rated, I'll be able to do that. But as, as of uh, the moment, we're only... Look at this as well. Oh, my God, the keeper. What's he doing? But as a 68 rated player, we can't be like your Messi and Ronaldo and that and dictate the play and win you every single game. Uh, next then is that people telling me to start start again as a creative pro. Um, but the one thing that puts me off to, is that's what I was going to do because then you unlock uh, accomplishments for doing certain things like you get, uh, say, if you score a goal uh, or with a weak foot, you get a plus start uh, weak foot and stuff. But honestly, uh, you, you start off as 19 year old Martin Odegaard he's only 16 right now and we're 15 in this career mode because that's his age uh, at this point of time in our calendar so honestly I, I don't really see the point of restarting because I don't know he's a 16 year old and that is where I want to go from and the final bit then um, actually there isn't actually anything else so that's the main three comments from the previous episode hopefully I've covered it enough and uh, you actually understand it. next game they've got Valladolid who are a very good team actually um, quite well known as well and I don't know we, we weren't really creating too much and it was mainly them actually doing the main business and that's how really how it stood we nil nil and uh yeah we got zero shots so that kind of sums up our attacking performance we actually get dropped again for another game this episode i do believe we have two out of it this episode and we actually go one nowhere up then sport and gijon actually get an equalizer and honestly i don't know i kind of felt a bit annoyed being dropped because we're actually i don't we're not playing great but I'm actually, I think I'm one of the highest rated players in this team. So I was expecting to be at a start level more, more often than so. Uh, but it turns out if you play badly, you get dropped. It's kind of realistic. And look at that for a header right into the top corner. That actually puts us 1-0 down, um, which is quite unfortunate. I mean, our form isn't great. I'm not actually sure whether in real life where... Um, 
where Zara Gotha actually supposed to end up because I don't I also don't follow uh, the second tier of Spanish football so I'm not aware uh, whether they're supposed to be getting promotion first season their relegation candidates or anything like that uh, so if you have any knowledge in real life about uh, Zara Gotha, let me know in the comments below and I can also take that on board and see if, if our targets are right I mean we're getting some chances here but my, my shooting's just got awful at the moment and we, we aren't creating the chances uh, to get clear cut ones I mean one on one's perfect these are uh, types of opportunity, um, opportunities are at the end really not my cup of tea guys but that's gonna be the end of the video hope you've enjoyed it like i said if you can smash that like button for more if you want to see more series nail that like button right now if you need my channel and want to see more click that subscribe button for daily content and uh also check out today's previous video in the description below guys so thank you for this video and i'll see you next time